Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about TM mode analysis of circular waveguide. TM, TM means transverse magnetic. So TM stands for transverse magnetic. So transverse magnetic field, transverse magnetic nothing but what do you mean by transverse magnetic field? Magnetic field is not existed and electric field is existed. So Ez is not equal to 0 and Hz is equal to 0. Okay. So we know the wave equation, Helmholtz wave equations. Uh, let us consider, let us consider the Helmholtz wave equation for Ez. Okay, that means Z is nothing but direction of propagation. Always we are taking the direction of propagation towards Z. So del square Ez is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon E into Z, Ez. Okay, that means the standard wave equation, whatever we have considered for the rectangular waveguide, we have considered here also the same. But now, Ez there, Ez has been expressed. That means this delta square has been written in terms of three parameters uh, like E, um, what is that, X, Y, Z. <laughs> but here the delta square cannot be written in X, Y, Z. It should be written in terms of R, phi and Z. R, phi and Z. So, Ez can be written in terms of R phi Z. R is nothing but radius of this circular waveguide. Phi is nothing but angle at which the wave is being propagated. And Z is nothing but the direction of the propagation. And at a time constant T is equal to, we can write it as Ez R comma phi E power G omega T minus gamma z <coughs> okay so this is nothing but z indicates the direction of propagation z indicates the direction of propagation so expanding this del square ez so do square ez by do r square plus 1 by how we have got this one actually del square is nothing but dou square x square by dou x dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square this is the general notation for the del square in terms of x y and z but already we know what is that x is equal to r cos phi and y is equal to r sin phi after substituting those two you will get this del square something del square what i am writing here del square e z by dou r square plus 1 by r square del square ez by do square ez by do phi square plus 1 uh, do square ez by do z square that is written as gamma square ez gamma is nothing but operator in the z direction plus do ez by r do r is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon into ez okay so this equation can be simplified by using separation of variables method the above equation the above equation can be simplified using separation of using separation of variables method same method whatever we have taken like a, uh, into two parameters here also we are doing the same so that is that is ez is equal to p into q let us consider Ez is a multiplication of two separate variables P into Q. So that can be written as 1 by P do square P by do R square 
that means p is a term which is a variable with respect to r and q is a term which is having a variable with respect to phi so that's why p is having derivation with respect to r square and q will be having a derivation with respect to phi square so 1 by r square after substituting p and q in that equation you will get this equation okay i am not writing each and every step you can substitute and separate these variables okay same similar method whatever we have done in the case of uh, rectangular waveguide i am doing the same here plus gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon plus 1 by r into p do p by do r is equal to 0 <clears throat> let 1 by q do square q by do phi square is equal to minus n square there we have taken minus a square minus b square okay then see this term this term we have assumed it as minus n square then 1 by p 1 by p do square p by do r square minus n square by r square plus already we know this one it is h square okay h square plus 1 by r into p do p by do r is equal to 0 so finally this equation becomes after taking the p common do square p by do r square plus h square minus n square by r square it doesn't have p so it comes multiplication of p plus 1 by r do p by do r is equal to 0 okay so this is the equation we have simplified after uh, substituting ez is equal to pq in that main equation <coughs> okay now this equation whatever uh, let us consider this as equation number one this is the main equation okay and uh, let us consider this as equation number two and assumed value let us this consider this as equation number three this equation number 3 is a standard differential equation. The solution can be obtained by taking like this. See, this equation, uh, whatever we have assumed 1 by q dou square q by dou phi square is equal to minus n square is a, it is also having a solution like a q is equal to something. That solution we are writing it as the solution for q the solution for uh, equation 3 is for solution is nothing but we have to obtain what is q <coughs> q is equal to a n cos n phi plus b n sin n phi okay so this equation uh, this final equation whatever we have obtained this equation is a Bessel equation this equation is known as a Bessel equation the solution for this Bessel equation is just like a P is equal to some Jn into Rh excuse me so this equation whatever the equation we have written in the case of 4 the equation 4 is known as Bessel equation or Bessel function you can call it as Bessel equation or Bessel function the solution for this equation the solution for that equation the solution for that equation means which value we are getting p value okay so equation is p is equal to 
J n of R H. J n of R H. So this is the Bessel function of first kind and nth order. This is the Bessel function. Bessel function is nothing but J n or H. This is the Bessel function. See, this is uh, this is circular waveguide derivations are not much easier compared to rectangular waveguide. Rectangular waveguide are very easy. Just direct uh, equations are there, but in the circular waveguide, lot of assumptions are there. Bessel equations are there. Such type of equations we need to incorporate. So Bessel function <coughs> of kind of first kind and nth order okay so e z is equal to p into q that is equal to what is p we have got <coughs> what is uh, p and q a n cos phi plus b n sin phi uh, sorry a n cos n phi b n sin n phi into what is the p j n R H. Okay, this is the equation number five. Now, so the unknowns in this above equation can be solved by applying boundary conditions. <coughs> so consider boundary condition. How many boundaries are there for this? How many boundaries are there for the circular waveguide? How many boundaries are there for rectangular waveguide? For rectangular waveguide, there are four boundaries. Okay, for rectangular waveguide, this is the rectangular waveguide. This is one boundary, this is second boundary, this is third boundary, and this is the fourth boundary. One, two, three, four. But in the circular waveguide, how many boundaries are there? How many boundaries are there? Only one boundary because it is having a equal dimension wherever you see okay so it is having only one boundary condition that means the electric field is zero yet r is equal to a what is the distance from here to here center to a this one a radius at r is equal to a the electric field component along the boundary that is zero okay so substitute this boundary condition in equation 5 so equation by what happens? 0 is equal to this one. A n cos n phi plus B n sin n phi J n of A comma A h. Okay. So we cannot equate this J n of A h is equal to uh, what is this? Uh, A n cos n phi plus B n sin n phi equal to 0 because it is having a, uh, multiple functions cos and sin. We cannot equate this term equal to 0. So we can equate just J n A h is equal to 0. <coughs> So, from equation 5, 0 is equal to a n cos n phi plus b n sin n phi, this is the first term, into j n of a h, r is equal to a now. So, this cannot be it is not equal to not equal to 0 so j n a h is equal to 0 j n a h is equal to 0 the solution for this one the solution for this function is See, here no simplifications are there. Directly we can take the uh, equations. H is equal to P n m by A. H is equal to P n m by A. This is the solution for this. J H is equal to 0. Okay. So, there are several values for this say n comma m. So, like n is equal to 0, m equal to 0. It is having a value. And like n is equal to 1, m is equal to 1. It is having a separate value. So like that we will be having the value for h with different values. Okay. For example, n is equal to 0, m is equal to 0. Then 
h value is equal to 2.405 like this we have a table okay uh, it is not necessary now whenever i we need then we can discuss <coughs> okay next if axis phi is oriented such a way that bn is equal to 0 <coughs> then the equation this one equation number 5 equation 5 can be written as Ej is equal to p into q that is equal to an bn equal to 0 means an cos and phi only left remaining will be gone an cos and phi and jn it is a r h e power <coughs> j omega t minus gamma z okay so this is the final equation in terms of uh, r we can write it as so finally ej is equal to an jn ah cos n phi e power j omega t gamma z <coughs> this e power j omega t gamma z is common so this is the final equation this is the final equation so using this equation we can simply we can get the four equations what are they so the wave equations the wave equations can be obtained what are they er hr e phi and h phi can be written as and be obtained as how we are, how you will get these equations already we know the equations for this er hr e phi h, h phi like in terms of ej okay as hz is equal to 0 second term will be gone and this, this term after substituting these and derivating with respect to that particular parameter we will get these four equations okay in the last video i gave you those four equations so in that we need to substitute this okay substitute and get these equations you will get uh, hr is equal to minus j omega epsilon by r h n m <coughs> whole square n a n j n r h n m sin n phi e power j omega t minus gamma z and similarly e phi is equal to minus beta by omega epsilon h into r h phi is equal to minus j omega epsilon by h n m n a n j dash or h n m j dash is nothing but differentially derivative of this Bessel function cos n phi e power j omega t minus gamma z and e r is equal to minus beta by omega epsilon h phi okay so these are the four equations finally what what we need to get wave equations okay so this is the tm wave equations for this circular waveguide these are somewhat different compared to rectangular waveguide